First off, huge thanks to 2K Games and the people over there inviting me out to check out NHL Supercard. I should mention that in this video, it's not the final build, but it's pretty close to it. So this game is similar to WWE Supercard as well as NBA Supercard, except that this time it's NHL Supercard. You are not battling in the ring. You are not battling on the court. You are battling on the ice. So this is a first look. Let us check this out together. All right, so you're gonna push tap to play and you're gonna go right into the game. This is the user interface. You have a quick game, join season, rivals, my cards, get cards, train, combine, enhance, card catalog, choose a favorite team. We're gonna click on that. There are 30 different teams that you can choose from. You have the Western division, the Eastern division, but I'm gonna go with my boys in blue, the blue shirts, the Rangers. Let's go Rangers. You guys let me know down in the comment section which team you guys chose. But let's check out Quick Game. As you can see, this is your bench. On your bench, you're gonna have your center, your left wing, your right wing, your two defensive men, and your goalie. When you line up the player with the correct position, you'll notice that you get increased stat boost. So I would recommend playing the player in the correct position, but you definitely don't have to. Play your own strategy, but it's definitely a very helpful hint to know that if you play them in the correct position, that you do receive a stat boost. Also, there's plenty of helpful hints throughout the game that'll pop up and let you know how to play the game. All right, so we're gonna go into a quick game and choose our opponents, and let's battle it out on the ice. Starting it up, it's an Iron Cross game for period one. There's gonna be three periods. As you see, this is an Iron Cross team up match. There's 30 different categories of matches that it can be. So I'm gonna choose a goalie and a defensive man. We're going to team them up for that Iron Cross match. And there you go, my team successfully declined my opponents. Next off, for period two, it's a face-off match. The scoring is random. So for each period, you'll either get one point, two point, or three points. So never count yourself out. And if you're all tied up at the end, it will go into overtime. Next match is a success, scoring up another three points and it's six nothing going into the third period. Bank shot, and it's a playmaking versus playmaking. Choose two skaters. I chose my left wing and the center. And boom, I just got shut down. We still win the game. You gained a reward for playing 10 games. They still have ladder rewards. You get an energy card for winning your match. I picked another energy card. And I pick another common card. What's really, really cool is that if you shut out your opponents, instead of picking two cards, you actually win three picks from the draft board at the end. So you get your energy card for winning and then you get to pick three picks. So there's an incentive when you're going into that third period to play your best cards to get the extra pick, which is awesome. Finally, sometimes I it would just be a throwaway match for me and I would, wouldn't even care. As long as I got the win, it didn't matter who I throw in. Here's your stats. You have focus, you have playmaking, you have stick handling, and you have skating. It's also cool to note that once you add an enhancement to the card, it'll stay with that card, even if you combine it. Don't forget to set your favorite player as your MVP. Locking the card is just as simple as clicking on the lock to make sure that your special cards don't ever get accidentally deleted. Let's check out Season Setup. So Season Setup is kind of like your king of the ring. It's going to be about an 80 game simulation, and you're going to want to fill your bench with your best players. This is where you're gonna be using those energy cards that you get in exhibition. Once you fill out your season roster, begin season and battle for the Stanley Cup. The first time you play, it'll be simulated and go really, really quick. But after the tutorial, it'll probably take you about two days to complete. All right, let's check out Rivals Clash. 
So this is where you're gonna pick a team and play for them. It's very similar to People's Champion and WWE Supercard. So I'm gonna go with the LA Kings. You're gonna play games and earn wins for your team. Each time you win, your chosen team gets a win, but also you can gain personal points, either one point, three points, or five points. The personal points that you earn will rank you, and at the end you'll receive a reward. And when you find hot streaks on the draft board, you can use them to double your personal points for your next game. The team with the most wins determines the card's prizes, and your ranking will decide which reward that you'll get. Let's see if we could get the LA Kings a point or two. Wow. Starting off period one and we're losing. Let's go into period two. It's a penalty shot. I'm going to choose a skater. Here we go. Bringing it to the net. Score! Goal tied up. 3-3, three to three. all comes down to the third period. It's a power play move. Here we go. Ooh, with the comeback win. 4-3, to three. getting the LA Kings one point for rivals. There's a lot of other things I've probably did not cover in this video. There was a lot of information that I did cover, but definitely stay tuned for the channel for more NHL Supercard. And I also recommend checking out Tubby Emus and Nada's fan, their YouTube channel. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll check in with you champs in the next one. Bye.